let's name this correctly. Jitta Practice Facility. Can't tell if I spelled that right or not. You guys will tell me if I didn't. The course guide? I I watched a bit of it. I didn't want to um didn't want to watch all of it because I wanted to experience it for myself. Um, dude, there's there's a yardage mark on the green. Oh no, we might end up behind it. I need some guidance. Oh, why? Well, you can guide me then. I just made birdie. Don't need that much guidance. I'm okay on one to three. Okay. Like I said, I, I made birdie, so can't be doing that badly. Okay. Oh, I could practice a pitch here. I think I will. Oh, I slowed it. Awesome, Bacon Junkie. Glad you found it helpful. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Well, wow, it's quite the skyline you got back there. Oh. Yeah, you're right about that. They would be. There's a course about an hour to an hour and a half away from me called Whistle Bear. Um, LPGA played there. Oh, for uh, they they um. There's a term they played there for a, few, for a few years. Anyways, their driving range has actual greens on it, which is just awesome. Yeah, I'm not very good at pitching. <laughs> That's not. Oh, it is there. Oh. I don't know, Terps. Good question. Okay. More pitching. Okay. I don't like pitch. I'm too impatient for pitches. I don't like them. Oh. Yeah, that's part of it. I don't like the animation for pitches. Okay. Oh, we're still we're still pitching. Oh, I need to put some juice on that. I am awful at pitching. That's why I don't do it. I'm, you know, a very a decent ball striker, a great chipper, awful at pitching, awful at putting. That's, that's my game. Okay. 
What's this? Eight, nine, uneven eyes from the T. Chip your ball onto the undulated. F okay. All right, we'll go over here. And then we play to the green, I guess. We had an uphill lie there. That's gotta be a birdie. Okay, hang on. How is it a par 3 when I have to hit a chip first? It's fair, but still, it should be a par four. If your first, if it's two hundred yard hole and your first shot has to go ten yards, oh well. Yeah, this is an amazing concept. Now, what would be really cool? No, I bet you didn't, because it's a practice facility. I get that. What would be really cool if it would be if there's a way to repeat it to play holes over again like if you could go back to the previous hole or something like that then this would be amazing and that's or that's the game that's not you it'd be amazing if you could do that so here i have to hit the car awesome Um, I'm going to feel that. That looks a little painful. I mean, that's gone right through. Where's that gone through? Basically my forehead out my back and it's gone th right through my chest I mean the most important part of me is safe so that's good somehow I'm supposed to putt this oh and he survived it no below that Okay, now what am I doing? Is this splash time? <laughs> yeah, I got impaled. <laughs> hey, Mayday. It is an impaled Canadian. Bunker practice. Okay, I gotta chip it in the bunker first. Okay. Do you know where you're playing tonight, uh, Mayday? Oh, you go between the markers. Okay. I was actually aiming for the marker.
Oh, so no diamond cutters tonight. Okay. Okay, now what are we doing? Dan chipping? Okay. 26 yards, though. The 9-9? Nine -nine? Alright. Oh, I got up and down. Hey, Foxen. And then here, why does it give me a pitch from 11 yards away? That's silly. Oh! So, for... T-Peg? What T-Peg? Now it's a putting course, right? Oh, right. Sorry. That makes sense. Oh! Okay. All right, so I see what you're saying where there's you d you need some guidance to get around it because you would just play it normally otherwise. You wouldn't realize you're supposed to chip in the bunker. I mean, silly me. This is such a cool concept. Like, it's just such a cool idea to do this. And I know you can do... Oh, my God. I know you can do the unplayable lie, but it would be better if you could just go back and play the hole again. Easily without having to go through 15 menus to um, to choose unplayable lie. Oh, well, there you go, Foxen. You can watch Victor and I get killed at Martinsville. Oh, where it's... <laughs> I saw this earlier. We're on top of... What, the clubhouse? <laughs> oh, this is cool. And then, yeah, I see how you get up there, too. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, exactly, Mayday. Uh, Daniel, this is one of the most creative things I've seen done in the game. Genuinely. Um, such a cool idea. Such a cool idea. Um, and, it, and it plays really well, too. It's just, yeah, to, to, to have that kind of thought. And I, completely, and I completely get where you came from, right? The idea that the driving range is quite limited. Um... And so you've decided to create something where you're trying to make more of a practice facility. Yeah. It's the only thing that would make that better would be if the game's limitations weren't so strict where if you could like take a mulligan, right? Or just stuff like that. That would be awesome. Where you could just practice shots over and over again like that. That would be cool. If there was some way to have like you play the course but have you a practice round or something. That would be awesome. And then this would be perfect. Then this would be absolutely perfect. You could literally, like, if you're struggling with, you know, 185-yard shots, right? I think the first hole is about that. There you go. But it's a great idea. I think that's awesome. I really enjoyed that. That's very, very cool, dude. Very, very, very cool.